We're here at the Met for a very special art hackathon. Over two dozen members of our community have flown into town and are going to be working with us to 3D capture works of art from the permanent collection of the Met and then create new work from the results. My goal in this was, was simply to see what would happen if we put a bunch of really great artists in the museum with our collection and this technology. It seems like a, like a really natural thing that should happen with all the technology that's available, but also something that a lot of museums are probably really hesitant about. And so to hear that like the, the Met was going like, to go through with it and MakerBot was going like, to sort of uh, be at the forefront of this, I thought that was like, a really great pairing. The technology is evolving so quickly, you know, you, you get a sense that that's kind of going to be like a, a tornado of innovation that's coming, so how do, you, how do you reconcile what to do with these types of tools? I was invited to be a part of the project with Micah. Um, I thought to myself, this is an excellent opportunity for me finally to incorporate the MakerBot into my work because I use kind of archaeological uh, items and kind of fuse them together and make these you know, different sculptural looking uh, scenes. Um, and so I thought this would be perfect. It's not necessarily just for educating the public about how MakerBots work or even how 3D scanning works. It's to allow people who wouldn't necessarily stare at one piece of art for more than 30 seconds to really interrogate and get to know all of these forms uh, and then make something in response to that. There's already people from outside the museum, from outside the state and country, like doing the same thing we're doing. They saw it yesterday. We had two people randomly sneak their way in here who drove down from Massachusetts because they saw some tweets yesterday. And the staff here have been really supportive and been really open to the ideas that their collection you know, can be uh, reused and reimagined in all sorts of ways, which goes back to the beginning of, of this muse museum and how we've always used this art as an inspiration for future artists. I'm really interested in sort of bringing some of these new digital processes into public schools and I think that the that this project is a really good precedent for how that could like work. I mean I think that it definitely is groundbreaking in the sense that um, this could be a really great educational opportunity for future um, groups, you know, young adult groups uh, to really start interacting with technology um, that's going to keep advancing every year um, and also interact with art in a way that they're more familiar with because most kind of teenagers or even younger than that use camera phones or iPads so yeah. much and that's part of their experience that filters their experience that this is going to actually make more sense for kind of the way they navigate in the world. I think uh, this is a, an epic thing for the Met to do and uh, I think that more museums should do it and when I get back to Los Angeles, where I live, I'm going to identify the, the museums that I can go into and take pictures of the artwork and you know, do some, some captures and try to maybe get some other people involved. I, I'm thinking of all the other museums I want to go to and like the, the, the pieces that I, I, I can like make mine. Grab a camera and go out today and take pictures of something you love and use a tool like 123D Catch to turn it into a 3D model that you can share on Thingiverse using the tag Capture so that we can all have a visit to where you live.